All right, guys. So uh, some big movement on the Alex Jones front. NPR is reporting here that uh, Alex Jones, his cameras, his mics, his whole Infowars show, his vitamin, his vitamin site, um, that's all being liquidated now because of the Sandy Hook case. So let me give you some of the specifics. Conspiracy theorist Alex Jones' Infowars show is likely to be shut down within a few months after a federal bankruptcy judge ruled Tuesday that plans to sell off the assets of Jones's media company, Free Speech Systems, can move forward. Net uh, proceeds from any sales will go to Sandy Hook families, excuse me, who won some $1.5 billion in damages from Jones for spreading false for, for spreading lies that the 2012 school shooting never happened. Some of Jones' followers harassed and threatened the families for years. By the way, one of the fathers ended up committing suicide after all the harassment from Alex Jones' followers. Uh, attorneys for a group of the families uh, called Tuesday's decision a significant step forward toward a fair and equitable resolution for all the families. Free speech systems will now be sold at auction, meaning Alex Jones will no longer own or control the company he built, said attorney Chris Matei. This brings the families closer to their goal of holding him accountable for the harm he has caused. A court-appointed trustee for Jones' personal bankruptcy case has already begun the process of auctioning off the components of free speech systems, the parent company of InfoWars. Listed for sale is everything from production equipment to domain names and the InfoWars vitamin and supplement online store. The bankruptcy, the bankruptcy trustee, Christopher Murray, said in court that several parties have already expressed interest in buying free speech systems assets, including specifically Jones's X.com account. The sale process starts with sealed bids and then open and then open auctions are set for November 13th and December 10th if needed. The bidders are unknown and could be anyone from another vitamin and supplement seller to an entity trying to catch and kill the InfoWars brand or one that wants it to live on. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, I think it's going to be the latter. The fact that there's been interest in Jones' intellectual property assets, including his social media accounts, might mean the latter is more likely. Yeah, definitely. Quote, What that suggests to me is that the highest monetary bidders are going to be entities who want to take this brand and run with it in some way, says University of Florida bankruptcy law professor Chris Hampson. That would mean someone in the right-wing media ecosystem that would have a ready-made audience for them. Legally, Jones would be free to continue to work continue working for a new entity, but talks are continuing between Jones and some of the Sandy Hook families seeking a deal that would bar Jones from continuing to speak about the school shooting. So not stopping him from speaking in general, just about the school shooting. A U.S. Uh, Justice Department lawyer acting as a kind of bankruptcy watchdog had tried to stop the sale, arguing that the bankruptcy trustee appointee, appointed in Jones' personal Chapter 7 bankruptcy has no authority to sell off free speech systems individual assets since Jones's company is no longer in bankruptcy and the company's assets are not the property of the Jones estate. But U.S. bankruptcy judge uh, Christopher Lopez rejected those arguments Tuesday, saying he would clarify his order so the sale can go ahead as planned. But as Hampson puts it, the court has saved some big fights for later. That includes the fight over Jones' real Alex Jones' ex account. Jones' attorneys argue that the exclusive property of Jones is natural person uh, and cannot be sold. Doing so, they argue, would violate the client's right to pu publicity, his privacy rights, and would amount to involuntary servitude under the thir 13th Amendment. Meanwhile, the Sandy Hook families remain divided about how any proceeds should be distributed. But no matter how they slice it, court filings suggest the total payout will be under $8 million, a mere fraction of the $1.5 billion they're owed. So in other words, it's a fire sale, bro. Everything's getting liquidated. And uh, this is going to get some, some money, or at the very least some assets, and it will eventually become money, into the pockets of the Sandy Hook families who won their lawsuits uh, against Alex Jones. I guess the, the question is, what's going to happen after that, right? Because it sounds like... Alex is going to have an ally buy Free Speech Systems, the parent company of InfoWars, back. And then Alex can just go work for the company that he founded with his ally who technically owns it. And my guess is that person will basically give Alex free reign and they get a tiny percentage of the action. But then the other question is, you know, how is the court going to guarantee that Alex continues to make payments that are owed after the court case to the Sandy Hook families? That'll be an important sticking point. Um... But look, the idea that they're going to, you know, like somebody who opposes InfoWars is going to buy it and just get rid of it, that's not going to happen. Or even some other supplement company is going to buy it and operate it. I don't think that's going to happen either. I think it's going to be, I think, look, every step of the way, he's he's been playing the game, Alex Jones has, right? He's been shifting money all over the place. 
putting it in different people's names who are in his family, shell companies, etc. So he could try to hide money from these lawsuits however possible, right? And he's been doing that. And in this instance, I doubt he doesn't have an ace up his sleeve in terms of effectively getting InfoWars back or being an employee at InfoWars. And even in a worst case scenario where, for him, where somebody does try to like catch and kill InfoWars, he can just start another thing the next day and it would be totally fine. And it would, it would, you know, he could name it something else and it, there's nothing stopping him from talking more generally about politics. Uh, maybe it seems like they're working on a deal to maybe make it so he legally can't talk about Sandy Hook at all anymore. But outside of that, there's nothing they could do. He's going to do a show. He's going to say what he's going to say. He's going to lie as much as he wants to lie. And he's going to spread misinformation as much as he wants to spread misinformation because that's the nature of this country. But what's happening, look, this is what happens when you are not paying the people who you lost in civil court to, and you owe them a lot of money when you're not paying them. Yeah. Shit like this is going to happen. If he had agreed, yeah, we'll get on a payment plan, I'll pay you X amount per month, you know, and we'll keep moving forward, and if I gotta pay you for the rest of my life, I pay you a percentage for the rest of my life. Um, he could, he could have done a deal like that, and then you probably wouldn't go through this process, but he didn't do it, he wasn't paying, and so now, yeah, the court's gonna intervene, and they're gonna liquidate his assets and give the people the money, right? And they said it comes out to less than $8 million, he owes like $1.5 billion, he's never gonna be able to pay that off, right? But, you could have went along with it, you know? You did the crime, you're going to do the time. It's a civil case, not a criminal case, but you get the point. He owes a lot of money. He could have paid it off in increments, come to some reasonable agreement, but he didn't. He did the classic Alex Jones thing. And the entire time, crying and whining about it, um, you know, making his problem worse, and well, now all your shit is getting liquidated. But, uh, again, I think it will be... One of his allies will buy it, and he'll be right back there. That's my guess. I'm calling it now. Because there's a lot, here's the thing, people don't understand, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of billionaire money in that right-wing ecosystem, which is always why the idea that they're anti-establishment is hilarious, <laughs> right? If something happens to this show, we're just, we're cooked. Like, we're just cooked. <laughs> it's not like, there is no left-wing billionaire who's like, yeah, let me save this guy who argues to raise taxes on me, right? It's not gonna happen. But in that right-wing ecosystem, they got a lot of money to throw around. And so I bet an ally buys it and they find something to accommodate Alex Jones and he'll probably just have to pay them in increments moving forward, some percentage of his income or whatever it is uh, moving forward. That's my guess as to what's going to happen. But um, look, it is a reminder that every step of the way, I kind of felt like even if they find Alex Jones liable, he's going to find a way to weasel out of pain or win, uh, you know, get away scot-free. Turns out that's not the case. Turns out, you know, this, this is quite a punishment having to all your stuff is going to get liquidated. You know, you got to move out of your studio, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm sure he's going to cry and play the victim, et cetera. But um, it certainly is a colossal pain in the ass for him, if, if for no other reason than just logistically, right? But he will be back. He will be back. Because it, it was a civil case. It was not a criminal case. He's not facing jail time. He's just going to have to pay these people over an extended period of time for committing defamation and lying relentlessly about their kids who got shot. He's going to have to pay them over an extended period of time, but he will be back on air and uh, he will continue to feed into that victim narrative. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.